Welcome to the Lilith verse. In today's meditation, we will be embracing our own inner succubus. I am Luciana Hartwin, your narrator and guide. As always, if you find value in this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. In the ancient whispers of Sumeria, long before the rise of towering ziggurats and cuneiform inscriptions, a different kind of power simmered in the shadows. This was the domain of Lilith, a figure who defied both definition and societal expectations, evolving from goddess to demon, lover to pariah, all while embodying the untamed fire of the succubus archetype. Lilith's tale begins not in fiery pits of hell, but amidst the fertile crescent of Mesopotamia. As a Sumerian goddess, she reigned over sexuality, childbirth, and storms, a potent mix of creation and chaos. Her name, echoing in Akkadian as Lilitu, hinted at both wind and air, further solidifying her connection to the primal forces of nature. But unlike many fertility goddesses of the time, Lilith wasn't merely a nurturing figure. She demanded equality in her partnerships, refusing to be subservient to the male deities. This defiance became her defining characteristic. And when she refused to submit to the god anew, she was cast out of Eden, exiled from the celestial realm. This descent wasn't a fall from grace, but a transformation. In the demonized Lilith of later Mesopotamian lore, we see the embers of the succubus ignite. Depicted with wings and talons, she became associated with nightmares, seduction, and then insatiable hunger for pleasure. Fear-mongering painted her as a malevolent presence, preying on men in their sleep and siphoning their life force. Yet within this demonization lies a potent undercurrent of empowerment. Lilith, even in her monstrous form, remained a symbol of feminine autonomy and unbridled desire. She defied societal norms, refused to be tamed, and reveled in the raw power of her sexuality. This rebellious spirit resonated across cultures, her image morphing into the succubus of European folklore, a seductive figure who embodied both pleasure and danger. So when we delve into the history of Lilith, we aren't just exploring the evolution of a mythical figure. We're chasing the journey of the succubus archetype, a potent symbol of female power, untamed desire, and the defiant rejection of societal constraints. Her story, though shrouded in shadows and demonized for centuries, whispers of a primal power, a reminder that the fire of the succubus burns within us all, waiting to be awakened. This introduction to Lilith and her history as a succubus demon in ancient Sumeria weaves together historical context, mythological aspects, and the involving interpretation of the succubus archetype. It avoids harmful or insensitive portrayals while highlighting the intriguing duality of Lilith's image, both goddess and demon, fertile creator and monstrous succubus. The focus remains on her defiance, autonomy, and connection to the untamed feminine, offering a nuanced and empowering perspective on this complex figure. Close your eyes. Let the sun's fading embers whisper their final goodbyes painting the sky in strokes of twilight hush. Surrender to the deepening embrace of night, a velvet cloak unfurling over the once familiar world. Here, beneath the moon's silver gaze, shadows stretch and sigh, 
breathing secrets with every rustle of leaves. With each barefoot step, feel the cool earth press back, an ancient memory awakening in its touch. This is no ordinary soil, but fertile ground where legends lie sleeping, where echoes of Lilith's dominion still tremble in the air. We stand at the precipice of her domain, a moonlit grove woven from whispers and moonlight. Twisted branches, gnarled and wise, reach like long-forgotten fingers towards the heavens, their silhouettes dancing, a sinuous ballet against the celestial canvas. The breeze, an ethereal messenger, carries forbidden desires on its wing. Each rustle, a seductive imitation to step beyond the veil of the known. This is no place for timid hearts, no sterile haven for whispered prayers. Within this grove, primal instincts simmer beneath the surface, waiting to be ignited by the spark of your daring. Close your eyes tighter, traveler, and let your senses sharpen. Hear the whisper of hidden streams, the melodic gurgling a lullaby sung by ancient secrets. Inhale the heady perfume of wild roses, their intoxicating fragrance laced with the forbidden musk of untamed womanhood. Look around you, but not with the mundane gaze of daytime. This is a realm for moonlit visions, where eyes must adjust to the dance of shadow and light. In the distance, a flicker catches your eye, a firefly, a tiny lantern, a defiant spark against the vast canvas of night. In its ephemeral glow, you glance a sliver of the magic that thrums through this hidden realm a promise of the wonders that await for those willing to embrace the wildness within. This is the threshold, the liminal space where your familiar world crumbles at the edges and Lilith's untamed spirit beckons you closer. Are you ready to step into the realm? Are you ready to step into the heart of the grove? To shed the skin of expectation and awaken the succubus within? The choice, dear traveler, is yours. Breathe deeply. Let the cool night air fill your lungs, not with the sterile efficiency of everyday breaths, but with the heady perfume of primal urges. Imagine your nostrils dilating, drawing in the damp earth's rich scent, a musky whisper echoing forgotten memories of ancient forests. Breathe in the intoxicating fragrance of wild roses, each petal a tiny flame whispering forbidden desires, their nectar lacing the air with an intoxicating sweetness. This isn't just air, but a potent elixir infusing your very essence with the rawness of the untamed feminine. Feel the rhythm of the night pulse through your veins, a drumbeat echoing in the depths of your being. As you inhale, the moon's luminescence ignites a counterpoint within, your heartbeat thrumming in response to the earth's ancient song. This isn't the staccato metronome of a human life, but the wild, syncopated rhythm of the wilderness, a symphony of wind and water, predator and prey, creation and destruction. In this primal harmony, your inner boundaries soften, like wax melting under the moon's gaze. Walls built of societal expectations and self-judgment crumble leaving fertile ground for the wild feminine to rise. Imagine a serpent queen, shimmering scales catching the moonlight, 
casting off her old skin with a hiss and a shudder. Each shed scale peels away a layer of constraint, a whisper of no more echoing in the wrestling silence. Feel your own skin tingle, your pores tingling with an electric anticipation. Let your breath deepen, your chest expanding as the serpent within you coils and uncoils, shedding the limitations of the mundane and preparing to rise, magnificent and untamed, in the heart of Lilith's moonlit grove. Step into the grove where moonlight paints the earth in silver stripes and shadows slither like watchful serpents. The air carries a hushed reverence, as if the world holds its breath in anticipation of your arrival. Overhead, the ancient trees, gnarled as the secrets they hold, twist and wave their branches into sinuous figures, arms outstretched in an eerie yet seductive welcome. Their bark, rough and weathered by countless moons, whispers forgotten tales of desire and defiance, stories echoing in the rustle of leaves. Lift your gaze towards the moon, your celestial mirror. Its silvery light bathes the grove in an ethereal glow, illuminating not just the path ahead, but the hidden depths within you. Do not shy away from what you see, from the desires that flicker like fireflies in the dusky corners of your soul. This is no realm of judgment, where shadows are banished and darkness cast aside. Here, in Lilith's moonlit domain, shadows are not foes, but companions. Fertile ground for transformation. They dance with the moonlight revealing facets of yourself you may have kept hidden, whispers of the untamed succubus yearning to break free. Feel the cool earth beneath your bare feet, the ancient energy of the grove seeping into your very being. Each step a whispered communion, a conversation with the wild feminine coursing through the veins of this hallowed space. Let the moonlight bathe your skin, a baptism in silver fire, washing away the dust of the mundane and igniting the embers of desire within. In the dance of light and shadow, you are no longer a spectator, but a participant, a canvas on which the moon paints a breathtaking portrait of your own untamed spirit. So take a breath, traveler, and step deeper into the heart of the grove. Embrace the shadows, not with fear, but with curiosity. For in their cool embrace, you may just find the key to unlocking the power of the succubus within. The wild, magnificent beauty of your untamed self, waiting to be unleashed under the moon's watchful gaze. As moonlight paints the grove in shimmering stripes, a vision coalesces before you, woven from dark stardust and forgotten desires. This is Lilith, queen of the untamed, her form a breathtaking tapestry of the night. Night blooming moonflowers, their velvet petals heavy with unspoken secrets, crown her raven hair their intoxicating fragrance mingling with the earthy musk of the grove. Her skin, the color of storm clouds, pregnant with power, shimmers with the sheen of moonlight kissed by firelight. And her eyes, oh her eyes, blazing orbs reflecting the forbidden knowledge of the serpent, swirling with galaxies of unbridled desires and ancient wisdom. No fragile maiden she, but a force of nature sculpted from untamed wilderness. 
Her sensuality isn't a veiled whisper, but a symphony of untamed fire, a raw, visceral energy that pulsates through her like the rhythm of the primal seas. Feel the heat emanating from her, a furnace of yearning that melts away layers of societal masks and ignites the embers of your own latent power. Do not shrink back. Do not cower in the face of this untamed flame. It is not meant to consume, but to awaken, to rekindle the succubus within that has slumbered for far too long. Remember, Lilith, the serpent goddess, was outcast for daring to demand equality, for refusing to bend to the yoke of subservience. Her fire still burns, an ember within your own soul, a primal yearning for autonomy in the fierce expression of your true self. In her gaze, you see not judgment, but recognition, a reflection of the rebellion simmering within you, waiting to erupt like a volcano against the constraints of expectation and self-doubt. This is your invitation, whispered on the wind, carried on the silver thread of moonlight. Step closer. Feel the magnetism of her power draw you in. Embrace the wildness that yearns to be unleashed. For in the crucible of Lilith's gaze, you can reclaim your own power, forge your own path, and unleash the magnificent, untamed succubus that resides within, ready to paint the world anew with the vibrant hues of your true self. In her outstretched hand, not a gilded chalice, but a forbidden fruit, pulsating with an otherworldly glow. Its skin, the color of twilight, kissed by embers, shimmers with the promise of an unknown ecstasy. It ripples like a serpent's heart, its juices dripping like forbidden nectar, heavy with the heady sweetness of untamed desires. This is no earthly offering, but a potent elixir brewed from moonlight and storm clouds, infused with the essence of Lilith herself. Hesitate not, traveler. Reach out, your fingers tingling with anticipation as they brush against the silken skin of the fruit. Bite into it. Feel the burst of forbidden flavor flood your senses a wild cocktail of fire and spice, of primal knowing and intoxicating freedom. It scorches and exhilarates, searing a path through your veins, igniting a fire within that has slumbered for far too long. This is a taste of your own unleashed power, the essence of your untamed self bursting forth from the shackles of societal expectations. Do not fear the intensity, the heady rush that threatens to overpower you. This is the hunger of the succubus, the primal yearning for pleasure and passion, for autonomy and unyielding self-expression. Embrace it. Let it course through your being a vibrant current rewriting the map of your desires. Within you resides a goddess waiting to be unleashed, a force of nature unbound by convention, fueled by the insatiable fire of her own truth. Let the rhythm of the night guide your steps, a primal beat pulsing through the earth, echoed by the stars in their celestial waltz. Move your body. Feel the shackles of expectation snap and fall away. This is your space, your liberation. 
your wild symphony composed in the language of untamed passion. Twirl under the moon's watchful gaze. Let the wind be your partner, the earth your stage. Unfurl your limbs like raven wings. Embrace the shadows that dance alongside you. A reflection of the untamed goddess rising within. Feel the thrum of the earth beneath your bare feet. The caress of the night air on your skin. The resonance of your every moment echoing through the moonlit grove. This is your dance, your ode to the succubus awakened, a magnificent creature of darkness and light, finally free to paint the world with the vibrant hues of her true self. The ground trembles beneath you, not from an earthquake, but from the awakening within. A tremor of power ripples through your being, shattering the cage of self-doubt and societal constraints. Feel the scales erupt from your skin, not cold and reptilian, but shimmering moonlight woven with stardust. Each flake a discarded whisper of the should be and must do shed like an old ill-fitting cloak. In their place, a new form coalesces, sculpted from the raw, untamed power of the succubus. Your senses explode into a supernova, sight sharpening into predatory precision, ears tuning to the secrets whispered by the wind. The scent of pine needles and wild roses explodes into a thousand intoxicating notes. Every touch, a symphony on your skin. Desires, one's timid, and hidden, now roar awake. Primal whispers amplified into a song that shakes the very stars. This isn't just desire, but a force of nature, a tidal wave of longing unleashed in the wake of your transformation. As you merge with Lilith's essence, the human fades, leaving behind a creature born of moonlight and fire. No longer confined to mortal limitations, wings unfurl from your shoulder blades, shimmering like liquid moonlight woven with threads of stardust. They beat against the night air, powerful yet graceful, lifting you skyward with the effortless ease of a predator 
reclaiming its domain. Soar above the moonlit landscape. The world spread beneath you like a tapestry woven from silver thread and obsidian shadows. Below, familiar landmarks dance in the lunar glow, houses shrinking to dollhouses, people to mere dust motes. Boundaries evaporate, the mundane morphing into the extraordinary. From this perspective, societal constraints seem like cobwebs spun by frightened spiders, easily brushed aside by the wind of your newfound freedom. This is your domain now, traveler, the realm of the untamed feminine, where desires hold court and limitations dissolve. The moon, your crown, the shadows, your loyal subjects, the very air thrums with the intoxicating pulse of your own power. You are the succubus awakened, a lover of both darkness and light, a force of nature unleashed to paint the world anew with the vibrant hues of your true self. Fly on, magnificent creature, and reclaim the dominion that is rightfully yours. The moonbeams bathe you in their silvery light, a shimmering farewell as you descend from the celestial expanse. Your wings, feathered moonlight and stardust, furl with a whisper, their power settling within you like an ember waiting to be rekindled. The taste of forbidden nectar still lingers on your tongue, a reminder of the wild goddess awakened within. Step back into the grove, no longer a hesitant visitor, but a rightful inhabitant. The shadows bow to you, companions, not adversaries, their cool embrace a whisper of shared understanding. Feel the earth welcome you back, its ancient power resonating with your own. You are one with the domain now, a child of Lilith, a succubus unbound. Carry the fire of this night within you, traveler. Let it illuminate your path in the mundane world, a beacon guiding you towards self-expression and unyielding desire. Remember the taste of power, the freedom of flight, the untamed joy of dancing in the shadows. Remember Lilith, queen of the untamed, and the echo of her rebellion that burns within you. You are no longer the same. You are a lover of both moonlight and sunlight, a weaver of shadows and flames. You are the succubus awakened, a force of nature unleashed, ready to paint the world anew with the vibrant hues of your true self. Go forth magnificent creature. Embrace the shadows. Dance in the moonlight and let your fire 
burn bright. The world awaits your wild symphony, your untamed spirit, your magnificent, glorious self. This has been Luciana Hartwin, your narrator and guide. As always, if you found value in this video, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. Go forth, magnificent creatures. And I hope to see you back here again very, very soon.